Okay, so I'll make this really brief. Um, I actually did this video, and for some weird reason, it didn't. Um, it didn't let. It didn't save for some weird reason. Okay, so uh, maximum uh, HYP, right? So the first thing I'm gonna just mention, right? Usually when you see a um, a website, you I usually don't like the obvious, right, inside their wording. Um, I don't like, um, like double up your bitcoins dot com. You know what I mean? Um, it's only because they're just doing that to get people to go to their website and usually those are the ones that usually scam the fastest right so i don't like stuff like that i don't like double up your bitcoins.com i don't like um 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 make more bitcoins you know dot com or you know stupid stuff like that so maximum uh, hyp is just just you know the obvious like why would you say that so if you're an actual um hyp we don't need you to to, to say it you know what i mean we don't need you to tell everybody that hey we're a you know, a high yield investment program. We, we get that. And that's why we're investing in you. But this one decided to do it. Uh, it says maximum profit by max, maximum HYP. So basically, um, there's a couple things I want to go over and to see if uh, it's legit, right? So this one, I, it took me about a half an hour to kind of just go through it, scope through it and figure out what I like and didn't did not like. Um, and there's some things that I don't like and there's some things that I do like. Um, first thing is let's talk about the website's name, right? So we just talked about the, uh, about why it's named that and, and what I do and don't like about it. But let's talk about it hasn't been registered, you know, and where and when, right? So they are registered. Uh, they use Enom um, right now. Enom is a part of two cows, I believe, right? Because at the very top, it says two cows, right? So you can actually register a website through two cows or any other place, right? And then we got... Um, Maximum HYP.com is the website name, right? It's not like it's .org or anything like that. We're at .com. It was registered in October. Um, the website started running uh, December 15th. Okay, so about that, I'm a big fan of you taking your time to build a website, taking your time to find the perfect layout, um, testing to make sure that the payouts are good and everyone's getting their money and stuff like that, right? I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big advocate for that. Um, this website did that. And then on top of that, there's another thing that they did that most likely cost them probably three or four dollars, maybe even six um, that they did um, was they registered for the next eight years. Usually that's a good sign. That usually indicates that, hey, we're going to be here for the long haul. OK, but now we have to go further into details. Another really, really good sign. This is like the best sign you could possibly give me is probably that it's registered with a person. All right, so this is the person's name, Alex Har Horo. Um, this actually, this website is actually um, registered by that person. It's that's a pretty awesome thing to me personally. I love that. Um, on top of that, they also have an address here, and they didn't go private. They could have went private, but they didn't go private, which is again very awesome. That stands out. That makes me feel very comfortable putting my money in if I'm going to put my money in, right? Then on top of that, right, you can scroll down and uh, on the home page, uh, I'm not going to show it, but I, but anyway, on the home page, they have, um, this is the address here, right? So this is the same address that we saw in the who is, right? And then on the home page, they also have um, um, the registration and that takes you here. I think I can go back. No, I cannot. Uh, that it takes you here, the registration. So here again, the address is registered, same exact address. It's in um, Westminster, right? Westminster, um, London, uh, the state of London, as and it's also in the um, England, okay, the country of England, right? So that's kind of how that works. You have to break that down exactly like that, right? Following history, as you can see, it's only been registered once, and that's in October. Didn't didn't have to re-register yet, okay? Um, and People was registered by Alex Haro, and he is, which is hopefully a guy, it could be a girl. Uh, she or he is um, 1985, born in 1985, makes him about 39, almost 39 years old, right? Uh, I think it's 2018 or 19, right? 38 years old, whatever, 30, 30, 33, I'm sorry. I'm going to just say 30, 35. Uh, 30, 33, 34, 35, 38 years old, whatever, 30, 30, 33, I'm sorry. I'm going to say 35, 33, 34 years old. And I'm not doing the math right now. Um, anyway. So all of that looks really promising, right? They also have telephone numbers here you can call. I believe they work. Um, so all that looks good. They have how many registered accounts? Two, 22,000 registered accounts, deposited money, right? Now I'm not saying that that's not true, but let's look at that, right? So deposited money, we wanna look at how much is that? So we're looking at one comma, two comma, one billion dollars, is that billion? 
Okay, so we got million. That's one point four billion dollars. And what's been withdrawn? Sixty-seven. Okay, it's one. Six hundred and seventy-one million dollars has been withdrawn so far. That's pretty good. That means they're paying out something, right? Um, running days. They've been running since. Uh, they're running for eighty-four days. Now, if you go off of that, the next thing you need to find out is okay. Well, how long does it take me to get my money back? Because that, if that's if this is if this number right here is true, as you can see, it's telling me to call it, so it's not going to give me the information. But if that number there is true, then that would that would be a big indication that people are getting paid out and putting more money back in. Uh, obviously, that's what that number means. So deposits, right? So these are the top investors. Uh, this person, Victory. Uh, oops. Okay, so top investors, you got Victory, Allegra, all these other people, Kathy, who uh, who are getting paid out. Who are, who are, oh, I'm sorry, who have who have de who have deposited at least a half a million. Uh, some of them have deposited close to half a million. These, these people have deposited hundreds of thousands of dollars, as you can see, right? Uh, last payouts, last I'm sorry, last ten investors deposited about a thousand four hundred. This person deposited. Uh, about nine hundred dollars, uh, almost almost a thousand dollars. Other person up, up there, Fab, uh, invested almost five grand. This other person uh, in the middle. So a lot of people are the same people <coughs> doing multiple investments. Okay, and then we have uh, last ten payouts. Um, this person right here, the fuck you mean? <laughs> uh, they they've been paid out seventy five dollars. This person got a referral payout, which is a dollar twenty five. Uh, these other people, this person says Chuck Norris Jr. Uh, says they got paid out four thousand. Uh, HYP Star got a referral at thirty two dollars, uh, and then Marco Invest, Marco Invest got thirty five thousand. So that's you know that, that all looks really good because there's a lot of high and low numbers. You like to see that, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. So long, give me one second. Okay, so the payouts look really good, right? Now we don't know how they're getting paid out. We don't know if they're getting paid out through Bitcoin or advanced cash, because all this at the bottom says how, this is how they select money. Bitcoin, advanced cash, payer, perfect money. This is how they get their money, so that's how they're gonna pay you out. Now the next thing I like to do usually at this point is I like to actually log in, okay? Um, but before I log in, let's talk about the address. Now the address, when you Google it, this is the address here, and you got the same map that you got on the website, uh, that pops up usually pops up here uh, but some reason it's not popping up here um, but anyway the address pops up and then you can actually look around on the street view and then street view is what the heck okay anyway street view does show that it's an actual building you can see the building right there it does say 10 uh, you just can't tell which building it is but when you actually click on uh, the information here uh, it's a Regis building and they actually do tell you what it looks like on the inside and outside so let's go to it sorry uh keep on clicking on the wrong thing okay here we go so this is what it should look like if you were to pull up so when you look at the street view you're gonna see it from this angle here from this angle here and then this square right here will have two people standing in front of it. And then this will say 10 on the windows, okay? So those red windows will say, sorry, that, that red, the red portion of the building will say 10 on it, okay? Uh, this whole thing is the whole building. So these are different suite numbers. So as you rent them out, they're gonna give you, uh, you can pay per hour, per day, per week, per month, okay? You can tell them how many days a week you wanna be there. You can even schedule conferences. So if someone was to say they're randomly showing up tomorrow, that this person that rents this location um, can say, listen, I'm gonna be using your conference room tomorrow as well as the office that I rent, blah, 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 blah. And then that person can easily go in and uh, rent out that space while, um, uh, while no one else is using it to put up a good front. They can also have bought, you know, paper, uh, books, and a whole, they, could, they could have done a whole lot okay just to make just to be completely honest with you you could do a whole lot to get a good front going okay the inside looks awesome because it's a regus building as you guys can see it's 10 gray's place um looks really nice um the thing that caught me by surprise was that it's in victoria right it's not actually in um well, it could be the same thing victoria and web in um, um westminster could be the same thing i don't know but this one says victoria um, the website says Westminster, 
I'm sorry, what, the website says London, right? Doesn't say what city. Um, and then the who is says London as well, right? Doesn't say the city. And um, when you go to, one of them said Westminster. I think it was, um, ah, this is what it was, the filing. Uh, the filing said Westminster. Okay, so again, I don't know if those two are the same. I don't know how they categorize that when it comes down to um, zip code, but the zip code is exactly the same. So I don't know how, how that's categorized in that area, but that's what that looks. So when you go to go log in, right, this is what it will look like when you go to go log in. Uh, you have a dashboard. Okay, so you have your dashboard, and then at your dashboard, this is this is what it will look like, right? Um, it tells you um, your account balance, your deposits, and how much money you've earned. And then we have make a deposit, your deposit, deposit history. Uh, if I go to deposit history, I haven't deposited any money, um, and I probably won't be depositing any money, but I wanted to show you guys deposit history, referral history, withdrawals, withdrawal history, all that stuff. This website looks a lot like another website. I'll list it down below in the description if you want to see it. But um, and all my logins should be about the same. Um, but those websites, they all look exactly the same, right? And if there's somewhat of a problem there when the website look the same. Now, when you go to make a deposit, you want to know how much are you going to make, right? So let's talk about how much you're going to make. Now, first thing I like to look at is. Before I look at how much I'm gonna make, I like to see if there's like that Bitcoin video. I really hate that Bitcoin video, that what is Bitcoin video. This right here has its own presentation video, probably made from Fiverr, but it's a really good video. Um, it does, you know, it's not the Bitcoin video, right? Which is a which is a problem because it could mean, you know, it's, it, it's just bad, okay? It's just bad, okay. So anyway, now if you were to do a deposit, you got to pick one of these plans, right, at the other page. But your best bet is to pick a plan from here, right? I'm not telling you to invest, okay? I'm just trying to warn you guys away from this, okay? So in order to make a deposit for this one, you need to have a minimum of $25. Uh, this one's minimum is $250, right? So the, the minimum for uh, this next one is $400 minimum for the next one and you and so forth and so on uh the plans are as follows right so if you pick this one right here uh this first one uh you're gonna get 25 sorry you're gonna get back pick that first one you're pretty much gonna end up getting like triple back or four almost four times your money back um this next one this one down here at the bottom is like uh 30 times your money it's 125 so the way i looked at these two right here was that okay this one's giving out the highest return and it's asking for almost the least amount of money right and it but it is the longest time okay so you have little little bit of money the longest time and the highest return okay so if you look at it if you give them and this is how it looks okay if you give them $125 you should be making about $125 a day that's the way it looks right so you're going to be making back almost a little bit over 100% of your money a day Who's not gonna have that to try it out? I mean, literally in one day, you'll get your money back. Who's not gonna try that out? Now, here's the thing. Now, I don't know what it will look like when you go to withdraw because there's two different websites that I've seen. One um, has a pending withdrawal section, so you're gonna go right into the pending withdrawal and you'll never come out of there. The other um, the other one that I've seen that, that had a website just like this, they would tell you that you can't withdraw until your contract is over. So the 25 days is over, then you can attempt to withdraw some of your money, okay? Or you can just reinvest it. So if you ask me, I'll, this is what I would do, right? And I'm not telling you to do it because I'm not gonna even do it. But let's say I put in $125. I'm gonna end up with $3,600. So I'll take out $250, I'll take out $200. So I'll have 3,400 left. Oh, maximum is uh, 1500 Okay, cool. So I'll, I'll take out everything except for 1500 I will end up with $43,000. That's someone's salary for the year off of $125. So you took $125 and you turned it into about, what, two grand in 25 days and then took the remainder of the money, $1,500, and then you turned that into a salary for the rest of the year? That's crazy. No one should be doing this because right there, that's the first red sign that an HYP is definitely not going to pay out. 
Next, and pretty much the last thing I want to just point out is when you actually go and make a deposit. So you go to go make a deposit, a couple of things are supposed to happen, okay? First thing that should happen is you should get an address to send the money to, okay? Once you get that address, then at that point, you should be able to withdraw from that address. It should be able to get a withdrawal. Now, withdrawals may not come from that address, because they should come from other places, but usually withdrawals, um, usually that money would, you, you would have some money in that account and then not really touch it or money will be moved around but not really moved around too much right so first thing i like to do is if you're going to make a deposit i like to put in like a fake amount so let's say i'm going to do 125 but i'm just going to just fake the system out and say 25 so i'm going to put in 25 dollars. so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to see what addresses i have me send it to so this is one pc and then ends in xve okay but then i'm going to go back and then i'm going to actually do a deposit on the correct address okay um with the correct amount so let's do 125 now the address should change all right and the reason why the address should change now i get it perfect money payer and advanced cash may not change but bitcoin should only because if you're act if it's actually tracking when the confirmations go down the address should change it's usually the ones that paid out the longest usually the address change when i press spin i get the exact same address okay so what I decided to do was, you know what, let me trace this address. Let me see what's, you know, when they're getting paid out in this address. So here's the address right here, right? And we got 2.7 Bitcoins. Now, it was not 2.7, it was like 2.6 earlier, but that means that someone did a deposit. But we won't go too far back, but what we'll do is we'll see, because the first page is all deposits. So I'll just show you guys more and more deposits. And then after a couple days, now mind you, this is all February 22nd, okay? Uh, the first day started on February 19th, okay? So February 19th and February 22nd, for three days, it was all deposits were going in, okay? So nothing was coming out. And then on the, so actually, so it wasn't on three days, it was about four days. So four days later, they decided to withdraw all their Bitcoins, okay? And then... As you can see, more deposits came in, and those same exact deposits came right back out. More deposits came in, those exact deposits came out, more deposits came in, those exact deposits came out, more deposits came in, those deposits came out. Now, this is when it starts to get a little weird because you start to see 2.26, because uh, now that now that everything's up, updated, but 0.26 went in, 0.26 came out, 0.17 went in, and then combine those three together, and then point. 046 came out they combined those uh these just the same exact amount that came out same exact amount in same exact amount out uh these two this amount in this amount out and then that amount in that amount out uh 002 and then a bunch of these combined uh have all came out right here so a bunch of this is just going in and out in and out as you can see to even as of i think today's the ninth um I think today's the ninth, right? As of today, even as of today, that money has gone in and gone right back out. And as you guys can see right now, they're at 2.7 Bitcoins and they have zero Bitcoins in this account, okay? Now, does that mean that they're doing something shady? No, that doesn't mean anything. It just makes me a little weary because all, all of us are sending our money to the exact same address. So if we're sending all of our money to the same exact address and you got hundreds of thousands of dollars invested, why does it look like you only ever brought in about 25000 maybe even, to say, $30,000? That is where I'm starting to look at this. Maybe this is the only address since February, but you only brought in 2.7. How are you continuously still making money? Now, another thing I like to do is I like to see, okay, so the from this public address to this public address, which is 3NA, okay, uh, 3NA. And then they sent it to a different address, which was one one four one five uh one three one uh three and a uh three l one d one five one five one uh one six so a lot of these addresses are about the same one five one c okay so I want to click on that three and a address right I just want to just see if it actually shows me what they've brought in. They brought in about four bitcoins and they have a current balance of two and as you guys can see it's all deposits most of it's coming from that one p address right one pc um 
one P. I'm sorry, one P W. I meant to say. Uh, so three and A to three L. So a lot of this is just mixing the money around and around and around, coming in and coming out. And then you know you got a bunch of deposits coming in here, bunch of the bunch of bunch of money going out, one Bitcoin going out or right here. So I don't, you know, this makes me look. This makes me, you know, you know, very very scared to put my money in. I'm be honest with you. I'm not. I would never put no money into this. It just looks. It looks a little shady. Like, I don't know where the money is going. I don't know what they're doing with it. I don't know, you know, why the money needs to be moved around. But it, does, it doesn't, I don't see that much Bitcoin hitting this account. And I don't see people just having that much in their payer account, advanced cash account, just to be investing, what, half a million dollars. If I seen, like, 20,000 Bitcoins put into one account or even, like, 20 Bitcoins, then that's different. But it just doesn't look like the money is actually coming in. And going to the right places. The money looks like it's going in and just being moved around until they decide to finally put it into their correct account where it then sits there. You know, but I don't I don't know. I'm being honest with you. I don't know where the money is and I just don't trust it right now. So do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? It's up to you. I'll give you the login, you wanna log in, but my answer would be do not invest into this particular website. From what I can see here, it looks like it potentially could be a scam. Now, if they're gonna last for the next year, possibly could I potentially make a hundred thousand dollars off of one hundred and twenty-five dollars? I probably could, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't see the money coming back. I just don't see it. Twenty-five days is a long time, and they've really just been doing a lot of promotion in February. They really haven't been doing anything past February. So twenty-five hundred twenty-five dollars not a lot of money. A lot of people are willing to lose that. I'm just not willing to lose it. So if you want to lose it, you can invest. But I'm just telling you right now, do not invest if you want to save that little bit of money. So if you have any questions? Let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Definitely share my information down at the bottom. I don't think that anyone should log in. I'm sorry. I don't think anyone should invest, but you know what I mean? Do what you have to do to, to do what you, know, what you want. But again, I'm not telling people to invest. I'm not telling people not to invest. I'm not your financial advisor.